Hello everyone, I'm Serial Police, and welcome to my Let's Play for my Roman campaign for Total War Rome 2, where I'll be playing as the House of Julia on a very hard difficulty, and throughout this campaign I will be trying to provide some historical insights and information so that we can all learn a little bit more about the ancient world. So let's go ahead and begin our campaign right now. The proper arts of a general are judgment and prudence, Tacitus, Roman historian. So yes, I will try my best to build up my armies according to what they may have had during this time period, and clearly we can't have the same scale, so I will try my best to build it to what would equate to that. And I will we'll talk a little bit more about that very soon. So let's go ahead and get in game. You so, are yes, we are Rome. Alright. Ascent to my bold undertakings. From humble beginnings come great things. Take your first step and establish a foothold from which to launch your people to greatness. And so that is what we shall do. Now I will get quite a bit of money if I do so. And let's see. My faction leader would be... Let me go ahead and look at him and his full name. Lucius Julius Libo. So this fellow would be a very powerful man in the Roman world during his time period. Why? Well, because he was a Roman uh, consul from 267 to 266 BC, and he would also celebrate a triumph, which is a great military victory, over these fellows right over here. Now, they would have a different name, but they were located here, and so he defeated them and was able to celebrate a triumph over that. So, I will let him keep his legion name for right now. We may change him in the future, and I will try to keep him historical. So, in order to have a bit of a proper legion for the pre-Marian reform armies of Rome, what I might need is five Hestati, five Principes, five Velites, and then from there, probably three Triarii, my general who will be on horseback, and one Equites unit. And that should be about what we would have. And I will talk a little bit more on the combat once we actually get into a battle. So that will be a factor very soon. Let's see, here is Roma. And so for every province in this game, such as, like, let's say, Italy or Gaul or Iberia, I will choose one location where I can recruit my men. And so you'll see me build my armies in a very specific way. I don't want to rush for the best men. I want to try to keep it a bit appropriate for its time. So first off, for technology we shall get supply reforms right here. Okay, I'm just going to move on now. And so I will look down here and this uh, province, if you were to translate this, I believe it would be called Great Greece, as a lot of Greek people came down here to this part of Italy and even down here to this island as well. So with that said, let's go ahead and take Legion 1. And bring him back up north. Here we go. And we'll take him over to Neapolis, which would later be Naples. So they'll be going right up there. And now I need some more men. So let's go back to my army. And I shall begin to recruit my Hastati in just a moment here. There we go. Alright, one, two, three. So that will put me at five. And we won't fight them just yet. And by them, I mean the Etruscan League. But we will fight them in time. So, Roma, what do I need for you? You're happy, thankfully. I could build up this temple to a shrine of Mars. I, I do want that. But I also want this up here, which would be a Roman village. Alright, so I shall take that for now. And down here, we shall build nothing for the time being. Though I do need to expand some lands here. Alright, so we're doing pretty well so far. I have a spy that can spend some money. Or I can spend some money on my spy, so we shall try to go after this army right over here and train her up. So let's do that right now. Boom, done. Alright, that did not work out, but I forgive her. I'll kill you later. Oh, oh, no, no, I completely forgive her. So here's my little fleet here. Now, we won't have too much of a large one right now, just because we don't really need it. At least not for right now. So we have our technology chosen. Here's my trade and finance. We don't really need to toy with that too much. I'll make the people down here very ha happy at some point, just not yet. Possibly next turn. Let's see, we're only trading with one other city-state, which would be right down here. All right, we won't worry about them too much. I could try to initiate some more trade before we end this turn. Let me look at this real quick. Most of them do not really care for me, so I doubt that would pan out whatsoever. So now that we have done that, let's end this turn. And soon we will have a battle. And the end turn should come pretty fast now. All right, come on now. They want a peace treaty, really. That is interesting, but we will not let that happen. Now, even though they want a peace treaty, whenever I go to fight them, they'll probably come to fight me too, which is fine. I want them to come fight me. And as you can see, the turns are now going by very fast now. They had a new patch, and it's made things quite efficient in many ways. Okay, so down here, they're not very happy. I can see that much. Let me go ahead and upgrade this too. I have enough food for that. Plus three growth, but that will not really help out my issue, so I need to expand their lands. And I shall give to them a consecrated ground for the, t for the t time being. And... I have plenty of money. So I have my Hastati. 
and I will talk a little bit more about them in a little while, like I said. So we need three more Villates, and then we should be ready very soon to go fight them, at least at Vela 3. I could go take it now, but I want to build up a little bit, just for a little bit of fun, too. Alright, so let's see. I can sabotage him over here. Let's try that. Commit arson. Oh, she's out of range. Okay, well, that's fine. You can stay out of range. So over here, let's see. I cannot upgrade my temple right now. That's fine. I won't have to worry about that. But I would like to build up, or at least recruit some more men down here, even though that will take another turn, which is fine, too. I'll get rid of these levies. I don't really need those. They're costing me money for nothing. Well, <laughs> very little money. All right, let's end this turn, too. Right now. So the soldiers during this time period, they were basically given their role based on their age and their wealth, too. So the very poorest class that could become a soldier would be the Velites. And supply reforms here. We're done with that. And so they, and I will go on a little bit. In just a moment, let's see. I want to get some principes. I would like to unlock that. Let me look at this real quick. Da da da. Over here. So I'll yeah, I will grab this then. And so the Velites would be the poorest and the youngest of them all for the most part. And let's keep looking at that. I want to get a shrine of Mars. Very good. And so we will have a battle in just a moment here. I now have my many men. I don't have my principes or my tree Arii yet, but that's fine. We don't really need that. I'll get rid of my levy stuff. That's a bit too much range that I really don't need right now. Okay. Let's go ahead and fight them right now, and go ahead and see what we can do in just a moment here. Alright, so clearly we outnumbered them, and I could just, you know, auto-resolve this, but no, I want to fight them on the field of battle, so I'm going to go ahead and see all of you on the battlefield, and here we go. Well, look at that fog. No, you have no place here, friend. Let me go ahead and wait this out right now. We are ruined, so we require a beautiful day in order to slaughter a local population. Okay, let me go ahead and take my men here. Alright. Let me take my legion on this side over to this hill. That would put us very close to them, and if they try to charge through, then my Velites will certainly give them quite the hurting. Okay, I'll move my men right over here, and we shall begin the battle, and we can listen to my general speech then. Hopefully it'll be very inspirational and not too bad. <laughs> here we go. Alright, buddy, inspire us. Come on. There is no wall in the world that can keep us out. No man whose bravery matches ours. No swords sharper. No spears keener, no gods as unforgiving as ours. So, we will conquer here. All right. There are no walls here, so I guess he's completely right. <laughs> I don't think my men were that inspired, though. Okay, let me go ahead and move them up right now. Let's see, I'll put them maybe about right here for the time being. And you shall walk for the time being. So, with how they formed things up in the pre-Marian reform times for the Republican Legion, what you had was what was called a maniple. Now, a maniple was comprised of 120 men on average. And so, in these maniples, what you would have were two centurions, and these fellows would lead 60 men. Now, from that point on, every centurion would have their optio. And then from that point on, they also had a standard bearer, which would be called the signifier. And now, how would you tell about who led a maniple? Would it be the centurion on the right or left? Well, that's actually how they chose that. Well, not completely, but the more senior centurion would be the one on the right, and he would actually choose the other one to lead that would be on his left. So that's basically how they organized their men. And so what you would have in each line is 1,200 men, except for the triarii and potentially the Bellates as well. And so what you would have is 10 maniples on each line. So for the Hastati, you would have 1,200 men. For the next line, which would be the Principes, you would have 1,200 men. Then for the Triarii, well, you would have a bit less because they are the elites there. They are the veterans. They are tough, and there's not as many of them to, to uh, pull from. So let me go ahead and move up my Bellates right up here for the time being. And we will let them begin to skirmish our foes, or engage in a skirmish. And we shall keep my men up here, and we shall go ahead and increase the width of their ranks here. Let's see, General, I'll put you in the woods up here. And so we're about to really give them the shaft in just a moment. What I would like to do is win a great portion of this battle through my Velites. Now, why would I want to do that? I want to save as many men as I can for future fights, and so we can do that by using my Velites here. We can easily wear down these guys, and as you can see, we have a lot of javelins to fire with. Okay, as long as they run back, we should be fine. And I need to watch out for their slingers, too. Oh yeah, that's going pretty well for us right now. <laughs> They're not going to do very well. Let's just leave it at that. 
Alright, let's keep on throwing. I'm gonna go ahead and have them do a quick reload. Looks like they're not running as quickly here. Two of their men are... Ooh, that's one dead. Will you make it, friend? Yeah, you're not gonna make it. Okay, so he's dead too, but... It's not very many, many men dying in comparison to how many they are beginning to lose here. Now, the slingers are pretty dangerous, so we need to watch out for them as well, but we should be fine, though. Okay, let me go ahead and make sure that they're all chasing down this group. That's what I need them to do, but now we have a mob, so I'll send in these three groups to go help out. Let's see. They're charging up this hill. My general is under attack, but we can move him back, too. If they go up this hill a little bit further, then my Hastati will counter them, but for now, that is not a requirement for this battle. Alright, here come their slingers. Let's begin to hit them too, and trust me, they're not going to do well whatsoever. They don't have the armor to handle this. Oh, here comes more spearmen, and that is in fact their leader too. And I will not be using flaming javelins, I find that to be a little bit too silly. And it looks like these Etruscans are using Samnite armor. Huh. Well, that's shameful. Alright, let's see, we took out that group over there. They have two more groups of spearmen. And trust me, these fellas will not be able to hold on for too much longer. Alright, let me go ahead and fire at these guys in the front. That's what we need to do. We'll do a quick reload right now and take on their slingers next. Let's go check out what it would look like if we were on their side, and thankfully we're not. That's a lot of javelins. And here comes many more in just a moment once they all begin to throw. <laughs> so, the Velites would have a bundle of light javelins, and then from that point on they would also potentially have a sword. And then they would also wear either a helmet or some type of animal pelt. Now, that's not just because they knew how to style. That was because they needed, or at least their officers needed, a way to know who everyone was. And so that way they could see who's doing well in the fight or who is being a bit dishonorable or not listening to his orders or whoever's orders. All right, we took care of those fellows. Let's go ahead and fire at their other spearmen. I could probably have my... Let's see... I'm going to move my general and let him flank these fools now. So let's keep letting my Velites fight for right now because we want to save up our Hastati for future battles. Now, the AI is a lot more aggressive than they used to be. Now, that's good, and I want them to have a chance to beat me. However, I will not give them that chance out of my own free will. They will have to fight for it. Now, it looks like they're just kind of standing here, but keep in mind, they were actually trying to guard their town square. So if I wasn't using my men right now, I would have lost many more. And by men, I mean my skirmishers, who are doing incredibly well. All right, let's go ahead and do a quick reload. And begin to fire at them a little bit more. Let's see, I might need to move up my Hastati in just a moment. Let me go ahead and move up slightly, just like that. Okay, my general's over here. We'll go ahead and have him charge out their slingers now. Here's my Velites. I'll move in one group over here to kind of spread them out a little bit. Okay, I want to fire at their general here. So let's do that. Just a moment. We'll go back to slow motion in a little while, which is not yet. Look at these fellows. And here comes my general charging down here. Let's go check that out right now. Oh, we can't. So let's just kind of watch it like this. I wanted to watch it in a cinematic mode, but that's fine too. Alright, we're going right through their mob. And going right through their slingers. Wow, okay. So from that point on, did any of their... No, none of their spearmen made it to my lines yet of Hastati. That's probably because my men destroyed their mob and their slingers back home, so they were wanting to go back home in order to defend that location. Alright, let's see. We do have some over here that we need to fight. Let's go over to this side. And I haven't even really needed to use my Hastati. Fortunately, we didn't lose anyone? Really? Oh, that's even better. Okay, so my general retained all of his bodyguard. Very good. Alright, let's see. They're beginning to run down now, and they're about to be plastered. I mean, we are shafting them from the front, from behind, everywhere. Look at these guys. Let's watch it a little bit further now. I mean, they were outnumbered to begin with, and they had, I believe, two groups of a mob, and then from that point on, only three groups of spearmen. That was not enough to handle a force of my size here. And neither were they able to just beat my skirmish phase. Alright, let's continue for just a moment as I do like to watch them die, and they will all die once I get to the campaign map, but still, I like to watch it, it's fun. Alright, look at you. You. Let's see, I want this guy here to die next. He's like, oh man, I can't wait to get home. I'm gonna have some wine, it'll be delicious. No, you won't. No, you won't. Alright, well, I think we killed them all, right? Yep, that's it. So that is the carnage that we unleashed upon our foes here. My general killed so many. Very good. Alright, let's go ahead and end this battle. 
And I believe for that fight, we only lost Velte, so he killed 53. We, we lost 56, so that means 3 died due to friendly fire, but it's really not too bad. Let's see. We killed over 700, and that's exactly what they lost, 712. And that battle went very well. My general killed over 200, but that's because he charged a mob and slingers, and clearly... A more heavily armored group of cavalry is going to charge right through you. You're just wearing clothing and carrying a sling. Let's occupy that location right now. Good work, Lucius Julius Lebo. Or Lipo. Let me go ahead and look at what skills I might give you then. Alright, so I will give you that one over there as far as an emblem. A grizzled Roman Marine. You didn't even fight on sea, but alright, sure. I'll make you a better commander for the time being. Alright, I have a little bit of money. Can I move you up yet? No, I cannot. I'll have to wait until next turn. Can I ever recruit more men for you? I would like to. Good. So he shall have almost the exact amount of hostility that I want him to have. Here is Roma, and they're doing well too. Let, let, let me go ahead and end his turn now. I mean, there's not really too much else for us to do. Now, I, would, I do want to unlock my Principes and my Triarii, as I would like for them to join my armies. However, I will not let the Triarii join an army that is not at least, let's say, maybe level 2 in terms of army traditions. And then at that point, we can let them have that because that would indicate that they actually have some veteran men that would reach that social class or that class of soldier. That's really what we want for them. Okay. Let us go ahead and take a look. Sabotage. Okay, good. You actually set a building on fire. Good work, my dear spy. Let me go ahead and get your skills back up. Alright, I'm going to increase your cunning for the time being, you're very young. Alright, and then from that point on I want to build a Roman village, I would decrease my food, but it's really not too bad. Do I really need a field of Mars right now? Not really, but I would like these barracks that would give me my equites, my principates, and my triarii. And I really want that right now. I believe we're working towards that, right? Yes, we are working towards that right now. Very, very good. Alright, I won't be going down here for quite some time though to tier 2 for management. I'll wait off on that until a much later point just because I want to use these armies for right now just because that would have been more historically inclined. Alright, Roman village. Actually, if I look down here, these people need to be happy in Great Greece. So let me go ahead and look at what you have here. A Roman village. That's what you shall get then. Then again, that would increase your happiness, but a shrine would. Let me look at your culture. Your culture is almost fully Latin, thankfully. Let me keep looking though. I want you to make a little bit more money or food for us than anything else. Shrine of Jupiter. Uh-huh. Latin culture. Very good. Let's see. That would increase my research rate. I like that as well. Shrine of Vulcan. Plus two public order. It's not enough, but that is a start, so we will go for that. Yeah. And in, in time, maybe they'll be happy. Who knows? So we shall see, and let me go ahead and look at what's making them unhappy to start with. The cultural differences. Yeah, that will change soon, so I don't need to get a temple that has at least one more plus to public order. Alright, Neapoleus, where Naples would be later. Let's see, you have your Hastati. Now what I would like for you to do is move up here. Let's see, maybe about right here. I want you to have a little bit left so you can ambush someone. Just in case they move down here, I want to be able to ambush them. Now, can you do that? Alright, good. Let's see. Stance, ambush. Very good. So, if they move down here, we should be able to at least ambush this force if they try to go for us. Now, up here, at Velt 3, I need a garrison to be rebuilt here. Let's see. We would have a group of seven uh -huh, clubs and levies. That's not really very many, but we shall keep it for the time being. So far, our campaign is going well. War declared. Athens and Epirus are fighting. Very good. Oh, that should be a very brutal fight. I wonder who will win that over in Greece, huh? I guess we'll find out in time. Alright, household expands. A gladius, huh? Let me see, whereas slashes are rarely fatal, few survive an encounter with the stabbing blade. Replace. Oh yeah, plus 5% melee attack for my Hastati as I use swords there. Alright, I shall end this turn right now and we'll be in a really good place. But yeah, I believe the Gladius would have been used, or it would have been adopted into the Roman army, probably after the Furnace, oh, Furnace, the First Punic War, or potentially even the second one. Now, the first one, it would have um, happened when they would have fought Spanish mercenaries, and then from that point on, you would have had them go into Iberia for the Second Punic War, and then maybe that's where they saw the sword and they adopted it for their own style and use, and here we have... Mission issue, defender of Roma. Roma, our internal city is beset by the forces of lesser men. Attack them before they can strike. Mars will protect us. Alright, so you want me to take out an army of theirs? 
that army is down here. Uh huh. Now, if we move forward a little bit, we could ambush them, and I would really like to do that. That would be exciting. They have a little force, and they are trying to ambush one of my cities, and they could potentially take one, such as Neapolis. Let me look at what I have there. I have a pretty good garrison, but I don't know if that would be able to stand up to what they have. Actually, it probably would. Anyway, let me go ahead and look over here now. I'm going to go ahead and set up another ambush right here. Alright, now hopefully they will try to trigger that. I would love that, trust me. I have a lot of money too. Let me look down here. Let's see, I need to make them a little bit happier, but they're doing just fine. So let me look up here at Roma instead. I'm going to go ahead and build a manipular barracks. That way I can get my soldiers that I want. And if I build this over here, an auxiliary camp. Alright, auxiliary infantry. Let's see, Soki Hastati and war dogs. We don't need that right now, so we'll just wait off on that for the time being. I want to go after this city over here, so I think I'll probably move towards that direction. And we shall begin to take him out very soon. Alright, let's see. We actually have a full force here. Very good. I could recruit some more men. Not that we re uh, really need to. So let me move on up now. I don't want you to go by sea. That would be silly. Here, let's move right over here. And then next turn we'll be able to take it out. Alright, I could expand my cities, but I don't have the money to really purchase too much. So that's not really a necessary need for the time being. I could increase my navy. We have a few levies here that I don't really want. I'll probably get rid of them too. And so I shall. There. Now we're making a lot more money. Let me go ahead and look at my fashion for the time being. Alright, let's see. Lucius, you can now turn into, or at least be promoted into a military tribune. Alright, very good. We control a great deal of power outside of what this guy has. And the other houses. We don't talk about them though. Alright, let me go to end this turn now. So far, we're just really beating the Etruscan League left and right, and then from there, we'll probably go after the Celts up north, as we would later defeat them in the Battle of Telamon against a Gallic Alliance. Oh, hi there. Well, they're coming to fight me right now. Let's look at that. Hmm. I could go fight them myself. What do we have here? That would be... Oh, the Illyrians are here. They're trying to get me to help them. Now, as much as I like you fellows, no. You fight on your own time, and I hope you lose. They really took that city. Oh, no, that's a bother. I'm going to have to fight them in a war. I didn't want to have to, but that will have to be a case for us here. Hello there. The name of one of your subjects is on the list of everyone. Whether this will prove beneficial remains to be seen. So as you can see, these factions are a lot more hostile now. They are ready to fight. They are ready to do some crazy stuff here. So they took over what I wanted. That really bothers me a lot. All right, fine. Keep it for the time being. I don't want it. And they are going after one of my cities. All right, friends, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, and I shall see all of you later. And so, as always, until then.